Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming today. I feel like these bracelets are going to get on my nerves. These are my new obsession, my Alex and Ani bracelets. My video today is going to be all about my puff. I have been achieving pretty awesome puffs lately just by using a shoestring. I got a lot of requests on my technique of how I use a shoestring to um, actually create this puff. My goody headbands that I used to use, like when my hair was super, super thick before I got my hair dyed or anything like that, they used to work perfectly, but now they currently are not doing anything for me because my hair is just, it's a little bit thinner. The color has kind of changed my pattern just slightly. So a puff right now has just been my go-to. Like I kind of don't like my hair in just a straight wash and go because I have long pieces, I have short pieces and it just doesn't look up to my hair standard. So I just been wearing puffs like crazy. I'm thinking about doing a whole type of puff series just on different ways you can style your puff or wear your hair up because wearing my hair up right now is just better for me and my hair routine that I got going on. But if you guys are interested on how I got this puff, then please keep watching. <laughs> So I've already co-washed and deep conditioned my hair. I'm now going to take my Shea Moisture Reconstructive Elixir and I'm going to smooth that into my hair to lock the moisture into two separate parts. I'm now gonna use the Giovanni Weightless Moisturizer Conditioner and I am going to now work that into my hair. Next, I'm gonna be using the Olive Oil Eco Styler Gel. So, you guys know that my hair is damaged. So, right now, it's gonna look like that the Olive Oil Eco Styler Gel is weighing down my hair, which technically it is, but I'm gonna show you how I still revive my curls because when I'm doing a puff, I like to do my hair on freshly washed hair. So, I'm just gonna show you my technique on how to just take some of the product, if it's too heavy on your hair, how to take it away. So to take away the excess Eco Styler Gel, what I like to first do is finger comb my hair while spraying my hair with water. That's just going to take away a lot of the product and it's also going to cause my hair to clump. Because my hair is damaged, it is a lot limper, it's not very strong, so the Olive Oil Eco Styler Gel tends to weigh it down. So then I just like to go in and make sure that my hair is just evenly separated going across before diffusing. I like to smooth my hair going in a downwards motion to create the clumpage and so my hair can pretty much just curl. I'm then gonna put my blow dryer on a medium to low setting. I don't like to apply a lot of direct heat to my hair while diffusing. And now I'm going to begin to defuse my hair. I do have a technique on how I do my wash and goes already on my channel, so be sure to check that out. I will link it down below. But the key is when you are defusing your hair, you want to make sure that you don't disturb your curls. You wanna make sure that you're putting your hair inside of the bowl of the diffuser and just placing it and then moving from section to section, doing the same exact thing in each section. So once my hair is about 85% dry, and this is what my wash and goes are now looking like currently, um, through with my damage, I now like to take the bowl portion off of my hair dryer, and I now like to use the concentrated nozzle. And I pretty much like to use this to get to my roots. This just helps to make sure my roots are dry. And it also creates a lot of volume. So here I wanted to show you guys that the road to my healthy curls are on its way. My uh, curly roots are growing in and I now have like a curly patch in the front of my hair that I've been like slowly snipping. So now I'm going to take my Eco Styler Gel again and I'm going to concentrate this on the edges of my hair. And this is just going to create a very smooth effect. This is also going to lay my hair down and you're just going to... I apply a pretty generous amount to make sure that my edges are laid, especially on the front because as I was telling you, I have a pretty huge like curly patch in the front of my hair that tends to not want to lay down. So now I'm going to take my hard bristle brush and I'm just now going to start to lay my edges down even more. 
All right, so now on to the fun part. This is how you create your puff with a shoestring. I used my husband's shoestring, so it was pretty, pretty long. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go slow and you want to wrap the string around your hair. And you wanna slowly start to create your puff by smoothing the back of your hair up and just smoothing your hair around because it's gonna be hard to kinda of get the string over your hair. You have to kinda of help it out and guide it. And then you just want to pull it. That's all you wanna do. You wanna pull your hair and then you want to take the excess string that you're not using. I like to just take that part wrap it one more time and then I'm going to pin it with a bobby pin. So what I love so much about the shoestring method is no matter the thickness of your hair, if your hair is thick or thin, um, just if you have different texture, it just customizes to your hair texture. So before my hair was super thick, I used to use the Goody headband and that's a really thick headband. That used to like totally work for me. My hair was like really, really thick. But now with color, it is no longer thick like that, but I am definitely on my way to thick hair again because I really miss it. The shoestring works better for me because my hair is just, it's not as thick anymore. So that's the method that I've been using. So after I get done doing my puff with the shoestring, I then like to take my silk satin scarf and I like to apply that very tightly around the perimeter of my hair. That's just gonna set the Eco Solid Gel to make sure that everything is smooth and I like to keep the scarf on my hair for about 10-15 minutes like while I'm already doing my makeup and maybe I'm cleaning or something just to make sure everything sets in place. So going in with my Cream of Nature Perfect Edges Argon Oil, I am now going to just try to find my baby hairs that I see kind of peeking out. I like to use an old toothbrush um, and subscriber on my Instagram actually told me about it and it really works really well so thank you girl. I like it a lot so I just try to find some little baby hairs and I'm just laying it down with my toothbrush and then I like to go through and I like to play around with my puff I just like to move my hair around just to make sure like I kind of miss the back of it you can kind of see it um, the shoestring in the back so I just try to maneuver that around and that's it thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye I'm too hot.